Hey, it's Alex here. So, cookie consent. And I'm not talking about when you give your kids permission to go and raid the cookie jar. I am, of course, talking about cookie consent banners. It's something you got to have. And in this video, I'm going to share with you a really cool service that makes it super easy to add a cookie consent banner to your website. I just want to give a big thank you to UserCentrics for sponsoring this video. So here is the service. It's called CookieBot and it's by UserCentrics. I'll put a link up now so you can go check it out. You'll also find a link to everything I talk about in the description. You can start a free trial by clicking on this button or you can get a scanning website with this one. The free trial is for 14 days. And in fact, the service is completely free for small websites. Uh, for large websites, you do have to pay a very small subscription fee, which we'll take a look at in a moment. But let's just scroll down and have a look at what it can do. So it gives you basically full control uh, of your cookies and trackers. Gives you trustworthy consent collection, so you can quickly obtain that consent with the cookie consent banner. And it gives you secure consent storage and monitoring. It's really easy to install as well, which we're going to be doing in a moment. Uh, especially with WordPress, you can use a plugin. And the good thing about it is that it automatically updates. So if anything changes with regards to the rules and regulations, you know you're going to be up to date with CookieBot. Scroll down a little bit more, just the headlines here. So you can achieve compliance, minimize your legal risk. That's always good. You can improve user experience and transparency. And I'll show you how good it is in terms of the user experience in a minute, because I'm going to be adding this to estepona.life, which is, of course, my side project website. And yeah, gain peace of mind and control over your website. This all sounds really good, but how much is it? Let's have a look at the pricing. So here is the pricing. And yeah, it's free for websites with up to 50 pages. You get limited features. Um, but you can upgrade to the premium light for just $8 a month. And that again is for one domain with up to 50 pages. And you get all of the premium features with that one. It includes the banner customization, all this stuff here. User experience, you get multi-user geotargeting, banner auto translation, loads of cool stuff and you get automated scans. Now the next plan up is premium Swarm, which is for four or more domains with up to 350 subpages. And if you've got an even bigger website, up to three and a half thousand subpages, it's $34 a month. So really depends on the size of your website. I mean, it goes all the way up to websites with more than 7,000 subpages. Wow, that's a big website. Okay, I think what we should do is start the, uh, the 14 day free trial. Let me show you how easy it is. So I'm gonna click this button here. Now I just need to create an account, which I can do with my Google account, or I can do it with my email address. Um, I think I'll do it with my email address, so just give me two seconds. So the sign-up process is really easy. I just enter my email address, it sent me a code, put the code in, now I'm just setting a password. I'm gonna save the password for later in my password manager. Okay, get out of it. And we should be in. So there's a few quick questions. So I'm signing up for uh, myself, but of course you can say you're signing up for a client. If you're a web developer, what industry am I in? Well, I'm gonna say travel. Is travel on here? Um, no travel, hospitality, not really. Uh, okay, other travel and tourism, maybe? I'll we'll go with that. How many people work at your company? Well, it's just me. How many domains? Well. I manage a lot, but for the purpose of this, oh, well, maybe I should be honest and say more than 10. I've got a lot of domains registered. Uh, what kind of work do I do? Well, interesting question. I do marketing, content creation, web development, all sorts of things. I will go with web development. What's your role? Ooh, I like the sound of director or VP. I'm gonna go for business owner founder. I guess that's what I am. <laughs> okay, next. What are you looking to achieve? I just realized these are optional. Were the other ones optional? Well, they're all optional. Hey, I'm being very generous with my information. Never mind. Uh, I'm looking to achieve, um, well, consent, I guess. Yeah, that, that'd be the one. And, well, I heard about it through um, a friend, a friend at CookieBot. <laughs> so, uh, is that on here? Um, more well, say recommendation. Okay, let's get started. That's enough form filling. So let's add my URL. Of course, my URL is estepona.life to my country. Well, 
My website is all about Spain, but my country is actually UK because that's where my business is registered. So I guess we should put that. Okay, so we can get started with a uh, predefined legislation preset. I'm going to go for GDPR because I am, of course, Europe. And I think that still applies to the UK, right? Even after Brexit. I think it does. Okay, next. So here we go. We've got our layout here. We've got this big dialogue one, or there is the bar. Whichever you kind of prefer. I don't know. This one doesn't look too bad. Let's see, we style effect overlay. That's when it kind of um, what blacks out the or grays out the website. I think. I guess we go with the dialogue. Ooh, we can add the logo. That's quite nice. So we've got light or dark. My website's very light, so I'm going to go for light. Uh, we can have outline buttons or mixed. I like that. It makes very clear which one we need to click. Let's display the logo. Let me just upload it. Okay, I've uploaded my logo. It looks very small, but um, maybe we can adjust that in a minute. Maybe it'll look better on the real banner. We'll see. So distribution, EU and EEA, that's fine. What else we got? Default mode for checkboxes. Okay, so we can turn these on and off if we like, I guess. I kind of want them all on, I think. Display close icon. I don't want people just to close it. They have to ex um, explicitly consent. We've got implied consent. Okay. We've got this layout here. We've done that one. So we've done all that. I thought I said overlay. Let's go for overlay. So here we've got the content. It's already kind of filled in for you. I don't think we need to, um, to change any of this, but of course you can if you want, maybe if you're a lawyer or something. Um, we can add another language. I'm going to add Spanish just because that might be useful as my website is about a town in Spain. Las cookies de este sitio web. That looks good. Okay, privacy. Um, small icon. Okay, that looks good. Now I've already got an icon down the left, so I'm going to put it on the right. I've got, of course, the um, accessibility uh, tool, Ally, which I installed a while back video about that on the channel um that looks all fine declaration template default all oh, this is good i mean we don't need to customize too much let's click next so there's a few ways we can implement this you can add a little bit of script just stick it in your header or footer you can use a plugin to do that you can use google tag manager if that's what you're running you've got the google consent mode uh, which is another google service but of course, we're going to be using WordPress, and in fact, we can install the plugin straight from within our dashboard. So let's do that. I'm just going to click Finish first. And yeah, that should be all good. So let's get over to estepona.life, my website, and get the plugin installed. So here's the website. Uh, I'm already logged in, so let's just go into the dashboard. Then I'm going to go to, uh, well, plugins, of course. Plugins, add plugin. We're going to search for CookieBot, so into the search box, CookieBot. Oh, let me spell it. There we go. Not CookieBotty. And it's this one, the first one that comes up. Got a lot of uh, good reviews there. Look, let's click Install. And then Activate. So that's activated, and it's added a little uh, option down here. Called CookieBot. Let's go in there. Let's connect my existing account. So I'm going to click that. Now I need to enter the ID of my account. So let's go and grab that. So I'm back on the CookieBot website. I'm on the dashboard. Let's go to implementation. Then if we scroll down, we've got this domain group ID. So I just need to copy this. Go back to my website. Paste it in. It's checking that out for me. Click connect. And there we go. We've got some settings in here if we want to mess around with any settings, but generally they're probably okay in the default. I think what we should do is have a look at this banner. So I'm gonna open an incognito tab, just so that I'm not logged in or anything like that. And uh, let's see what it looks like. Okay, so here's an incognito window. Let's go and take a look at the website. And there is our wonderful banner. Actually, the logo is not too bad. I guess you wouldn't want it too much uh, bigger than that. Uh, everything is as we expected. 
got all the options and the about text there. Uh, it has grayed out the background, uh, the overlay effect, so that's nice. And then we can click allow all and we're in. Let's close that pop-up, that's my email pop-up. And website's working fine. Down here we've got the options, so you click that and people can see what they're opted into and they can withdraw if they want. And they've got all the kind of other details there. So there we go, super easy. Why not give it a try? You can of course try it for free for 14 days and you get all the features in that free trial. So play around with it. If you haven't got a cookie consent banner on your website, it is something you need to have. It's a, you know, it's a requirement, so get it done. And this service, well, as you can see, super easy, super flexible, doesn't look too bad and uh, works really well. And that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you found that useful. Hope you've been able to set up your cookie consent banner on your website. Let me know how it went in the comments. I do read all the comments that I get and I love to hear from you. I'll try and reply to as many as I possibly can. If you could do me a small favor and click the like button, that really does help me out. And of course, if you're not subscribed, smash that button too. But until next time, I wish you the best of luck with whatever you're working on right now. See you later.